Hello. Hey there. Stocks and crypto have been on an absolute bull run. Positive enthusiasm has returned to the market. FOMO is at a fevered pitch. Is it all going to come crashing down? Is this a bear trap or a bull trap? Welcome to the Stocks with Josh show. Thank you guys for hitting the like. Say hi, throw a heart in the comments. I wasn't even planning on doing a video today, but I had to come and address this monumental move in crypto. If you guys follow this page, you know that I've been buying crypto faithfully, stocking up weekly on my favorite projects, making changes as necessary all throughout the crypto winter. I have not turned my back on crypto and I'm getting rewarded right now. I'm going to tell you guys what I've done with my Bitcoin ETH and I'm going to address Solana. Is Solana a buy or is it a sell right now? Is crypto going higher? Has the new bull run begun? Will I get a chance to buy lower in the days ahead? The markets are on fire and it is a good time to be making some money. But I want to start off with the facts. Bitcoin, it hit $21,000 and the entire crypto space broke over the $1 trillion market cap barrier. Why is this happening? Well, one reason and one reason only this is an extreme bear market short squeeze. It was a classic bear trap. Billions of dollars of shorts had gotten comfortable with the narrative that it was all doom and gloom ahead, that crypto was dead, that crypto would fall under the same macro environment as the economy and the stock market, and that it would soon crash to all time lows. 10K Bitcoin was the projected horizon. This was the constant mantra of traders until everybody believed it and it began to feel more and more comfortable. They started increasing their leverage short positions and they got caught in the bear trap. This was the biggest short squeeze liquidation since July of 2020 when Bitcoin hit 30,000. All that happened here is that the greedy hogs got slaughtered. I made a point in my last video about corporate America and all the layoffs that the macro environment hasn't changed at all. And this also explains why Solana has pumped 200% from $8 to almost $25. It pumped more than any other crypto because it was shorted more than any other crypto. It was shorted more than other cryptos because it is under a bearish cloud. That hasn't really changed. If you own Solana and you're hoping for the best, I'm going to warn you, Solana is currently fighting for its life. Do not take this as a smart money endorsement, but rather a short squeeze gift, giving bag holders one more chance to make back some of their lost money. Now, I'm going to examine a bullish and bearish case for Solana, but this is a gift right now for some of you who have lost a lot of money. Let's go over some of the fundamentals of Solana right now. Let me give you the cold hard facts, or as Keenan likes to say, I've got the receipts for you. Solana active developers have declined by over 90%. These guys are currently sitting at 75 major developers, which is down from 2,500. That is an updated report as of this January, according to token terminal data. So do you think this token price run up is the smart money rewarding them for losing 90% of their proverbial customers? It's the same exact reason that BBBY ran up. It was a bear trap. Bed Bath & Beyond is a dying company. It's a dying stock. A lot of people foresee nothing but bankruptcy. It is no longer an investment grade asset, but it squeezed. It went flying through the roof. Was that uh, Warren Buffett doubling down on his position? No, it simply was just a short squeeze. For those who need a better understanding of what a short squeeze is, it is when you open a position, you borrow shares from the exchange. Now the goal is you believe that the share price is going to drop in value. And so you profit for the entire time that you hold the borrowed shares until you eventually close your position by buying the shares. And the difference from when you borrowed to the difference to when you bought, that's your profit. But if the opposite of what you believe happens and the stock or crypto run up in value, then you still have to close your position by buying at a higher price. But the difference from when you borrowed to when you close your position is what you lose. So a lot of people had gotten very comfortable shorting Solana and they got caught. That's what's happened. This was a run up. I think it's a gift for a lot of people. And I'm not telling you guys what to do with your money, but I am going to go over a hard chart prediction for what will happen next. In my opinion, the max top for Solana right now is $26.79. And we may not hit that. We might have already gone as far as we're going to go. But that is the technical wall of resistance, so keep your eye on it. 
and support below is at $13.50. Now let me give you some positive news for Solana. This is to balance the bearish view because the, there are some positive things going on with Solana. Google Cloud announced back in November that their cloud service has positioned themselves to be a Solana validator. Google's collaboration with Solana is to make the blockchain available to everyone with ease. This was pretty good news and may be the beginning of a possible Solana comeback, but they can't make it all the way back with just one partnership. In addition, five days ago, Google reportedly bought 2.8 million Solana, SOL, at $10. Google has now become the 13th largest whale holder of Solana. The bad news, though, is that Solana was tied to FTX and the price was propped up and manipulated by them. What this means is that nobody really has a true sense of what the value of the token should be from an organic growth perspective. But perhaps Google has done their due diligence and this purchase gives a lot of people the confidence of what the floor price for Solana should be. Now, my bottom line is that this could be an epic comeback story, but right now it is just a short squeeze. Don't look too far out into the future. Just focus on what's happening right now and why it's happening. I'm not FOMOing into Solana, but I am going to begin to nibble between the $13.50 range and the $10 range in the days ahead to begin to rebuild a position in light of this Google news. What am I doing right now in crypto? What am I buying? What are my buy sell plans? I'll let you guys know in just a minute, a quick station break for the Moomoo investment app. They are giving out 15 free stock if you open and fund an account and a chance at a $60,000 sweepstakes. These guys are a zero commission trade platform with one of the cheapest margin accounts available. They're also available for your phone, tablet, and computer, but only available in the US, Australia, and China. Plus, I host an on-fire chat group. Best community around, get your free stock and come find the chat group called Stock Josh Fam on the Moomoo app. All right, let me share this chart with you guys about which cryptos currently have the most developers. ETH remains number one. That's where people are, are currently developing. Cardano, number two. Cosmos, number three. That's the ticker ATOM. Atom is a great project and I've recently moved them into my top 10 cryptos that I'm currently buying. These are the cryptos that are winning and thriving right now in the bear market. And I just wanna throw you that chart and make sure that you guys look at that carefully and make sure that you own some of the ones on the top of the list, not the ones on the bottom of the list. And this brings me to what I'm doing with my crypto. I sold some bags that I had accumulated in the last six months. I sold half of my Ethereum over the $1,500 price. I sold all of my BNB at $300. BNB, even though I do like them, ran up much more because of the same reason that Solana did, because they had been heavily shorted due to the fears that Binance might be insolvent and might go under. So it was, it was dropping extensively. People got caught there as well. I think it will be a buy again when it gets back to 250 bucks, but it was simply too good of an opportunity to make some profits. All right, and you guys know that I'm very bullish on Ethereum. I intend to buy that again back closer to the 1200 back test area. I did not sell any Bitcoin or any other crypto. I thought of selling my Matic because I was deep in profit, but I decided that I was just going to hold it and ride the wave on it. Support for Matic seems to be at the moment right under 80 cents. That's an area where I really like to buy it. Now, I'm not saying it's a load up zone for Matic, but it's a very favorable zone. To the question is whether the bull run has begun, I'm gonna say yes, the bull run has begun. But what does that mean? We're going in four year cycles and the first year of the four year cycle is a slow year. We are going to have the opportunity to buy Bitcoin back below 20,000 in the days ahead. And I'm projecting that we're likely to see a pullback to the 17,500 range to the 16,500 range. Now, could we go higher from where we're at right now? Could we push up into the high 20s? Yes, we could but we will eventually retest below 18K. That's my belief. And I don't think that we're gonna be there for a long amount of time. I think it's gonna be a quick drop and a retest of those lower ranges, but I do believe that it's gonna be your very last chance to buy Bitcoin and altcoins at a steep discount. And some of them will not get down to their lower prices that they were before this ran up began. I have very consistently shared on this page that the old four year cycle was coming to an end in December sometime. We've already well over 400 days of a typical bear winter. We've gone well over that. And that brought us to the end of December. And I told everybody that we were going to begin a push up in mid-January 
Where are we at? We're right in the middle of January and what are we experiencing? We're experiencing a push up. I told everybody that we were not going to 10K on Bitcoin and I still do not see that happening. I don't think that narrative is going to play out. I think that Bitcoin is being positioned by too many big players for it to fall that low. But do not FOMO. But use this run-up as a wake-up call that Bitcoin and crypto is not dead, but rather it's a once-in-a-lifetime investment opportunity. You've heard me say that a number of times. And if you're listening to this video, you're not buying the top of Bitcoin or crypto or Ethereum. Don't get into it when it runs up. That's what, that's what they say the dumb money does. That's what they say the retail trader is. You don't have to be that. If you're listening to this video, put together a plan right now for the next three months. There's going to be one more opportunity to get in on some pretty good prices. And again, I think it's life-changing money for many. Some of this simple investments, 25 bucks a week could represent a new car, even a new house if played strategically. But be wise and don't FOMO. Remember that patient hands wait for it to come to them. They don't chase. All right, but let me give you guys one more tip. Don't get stuck in the old cryptos that are part of the last bull run. You want to look to the solid projects like Bitcoin and Ethereum, and you want to look at some of the new ones that are up and coming winners. That's it for today. Talk to me in the chats. Don't forget that Monday is Dr. Martin Luther King Day and the markets will be closed. Peace and blessings, my friends. See you in the next video.